Hello everyone, I'm going to present you the Gradle project from Udacity. This is an assignment that all students have to uh, create. So let's dive into it. Uh, we have to complete some different steps, okay? Step zero is where you import an existing project provided by Udacity. That's not hard. Um, then you have to create a library, a Java library that will generate some jokes, some custom jokes. You can put whatever you want. This is my class, for example. This is a Java library. Um, so basically, I store those jokes in a list. And then I have a method called getJoke, and this method selects randomly a joke, okay? How do we create a Java library? It's not hard. You go in File, New, uh, New Module, here, next, sorry. And you type, okay? You type the name of your library. I'll show you it again. You go in new module, Java library. I was showing the Android library before. So you can call it whatever you want, okay? Next. We create an Android library, and that, that library would display, okay? We display our jokes, our joke, our randomly selected joke. So we pass it as an intent extra, okay? We pass this joke from our main activity to this Android library as an extra. And that Android library would contain a jokes activity. Which, which will basically initialize our fragment, okay? And the jokes activity fragment. So we get, we get this joke, okay? From our main activity. Next, we set up Google Cloud servers thing. Um, so we basically pull those jokes from Google cloud server. It's not that hard. I mean, there are many instructions on Udacity. I'm not going to go through all of them now. So basically what happens, um, go to main. This is a code uh, given by Udacity. The only thing I have to change is this one. Basically, I call, okay, I inside this method here get random joke service. Okay. You see it? I have a method, and that method uh, returns a response. Okay. Uh, a class response, my bins response, and that, that my bins response gets the data from my cool jokes library I showed you earlier. Nothing very complicated here, okay? So next, after returning this, after reading this in a background, after reading the jokes in a background, yes, we want, we want to pass, okay? We want to pass this joke to our uh, activity, to our jokes Android library. So basically, this is nothing uh, complicated. It's a very usual thing we do all the time. I pass this joke as an extra, as a string extra, basically, okay? And I receive it here. 
Now, we would have to make some uh, functional tests, okay? Just to make sure that our uh, async task uh, method uh, class is working. So what I'm saying here, I'll run this test. There it is. Just show you. Take some time, you know, take some time, but see, everything works um, as expected. And now the last thing is we need to have two versions of this app one free version and one paid version. Now, the free version would contain, would contain some ads, Google Ads basically. So the free version, let's go in this one here. You see it contains an ad. And if we select this free version, what we do, we go in bit violence, violence, yes. We select free debug. We go to app. Again, we have to wait for a while. It's really annoying thing. I mean, it's really annoying emulators. That are really annoying. You have to have a supercomputer to make them run quickly. As I said, this free version uh, has some ads on it, Google Ads. So let's run it. Okay. Now you see, do you see the ad down here? If we click on it, we get a joke. <laughs> now the other version of the app is a paid version. In this version you shouldn't have any ads, okay? The users supposedly paid to avoid these annoying ads, okay? So we go to paid debug. And let me show you the paid version. <laughs> This is the paid version, and as you can see, there is no ad here, okay? So let me run it and show you. By the way, uh, the way you declare different versions, uh, project versions through Gradle, through Gradle, okay, is done with product flavors. So if we go in Okay, now you see the app, you see, say click joke and that's it. Now as I said earlier, you would have to create two versions of the app, okay? The first version would be a free type and a pay type. It's a very common thing in Android development. It's a very common thing. Um, 
And another thing that comes up, came up, is that we have to use implementation instead of compile. Okay, compile will become de deprecated in few months or something. So that's a project. Um, we should try it as well, and happy coding.